Well, being stuck at home has been tough on some relationships. If you are in the process of separation or divorce, certified divorce financial analyst Renee Robello joins us now with some tips to consider. Thanks so much for joining us. Your phone, you say, has been ringing off the hook for this, unfortunately. Yes, thank you for having me. Good morning. And yes, it has. It's been one of those topics that people don't really want to talk about. But uh, with the COVID and people being stuck at home with their partners, they're realizing that, you know, maybe this is not their forever person anymore. Mm -hmm. So you have to start off first, um, like if you have children, what happens to the children, right? But then, then there's the financial split. Yeah, so there's a bunch of things that you need to look at. So normally people, when they decide, okay, listen, we've decided we don't want to stay together, so now what do we do? So, you know, there's your traditional way of where you contact a lawyer, but there's an alternative way than using a lawyer. So you can utilize someone like me, who's a certified uh, divorce financial analyst, in tandem with a moderator and a mediator, and we can work together to get that agreement typed up for you and cover things like spousal support, child support, you know, the new family dynamic, who's going to live with, you know, the kids and who's going to live in the family home? What are you going to do with the family home? You know, and all of your assets and debts and how you're going to ensure a very fair division of that estate and that matrimonial, you know, estate that you've accumulated over these years. I didn't know there was such a thing as a certified divorce financial analyst. So what's what's the cost associated with that? I, I can imagine it's it's going to be a lot cheaper and, and right now a lot more convenient than going through the courts because you can't go through the courts right now. Yeah, it's um, substantially less money. So between myself and the mediator, you're probably looking at about a quarter of the cost than utilizing a lawyer. You'll also be able to do it a lot faster. So, you know, once the agreement is typed up, you file it with the courts and you're officially separated. So now you can move forward if you needed to buy another house. You know, normally institutions want a agreement in place in order to prove you for a mortgage if you want to do it on your own or whatever you need to do to move forward financially. So this enables you to move on faster and especially when things are amicable and you just want to make sure that, you know, a lot of the money is not going to lawyers and it's actually mm -hmm. staying in the family's hands. So this allows you to do that. Right. And, and do, you, do you charge a flat fee then? Not that I'm asking because everything's <laughs> good with me at home if my <laughs> husband's watching. I'm not, but uh, I'm, I'm just curious, is there a flat fee or is it a percentage? So there's a couple things. So because I work with uh, mediators, I can do a package fee where it's one price that includes from start to finish with me and the mediator, or we can charge by the hour when if it's just a financial division of assets, and then you take that to your lawyer or to your mediator. So you can either charge by the hour or you can do a package where it's the whole thing for both people total. In, right. In We've got about a minute left, but I can imagine that it would save a lot of money too if you do your homework before you even give a call. Like have a list of what you owe, what you own. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, it's good when it's uh, collaborative. So if you're both agreeing that you want to separate, you both don't hate each other, you just can't live together anymore, then just make that list and then come on in and see me. <laughs> what kind of a backlog do you have right now? So there's quite a bit of conversation right now with COVID and people still being stuck in the house. A lot of people have waited, but a lot of people are asking that as soon as things release a little bit more, that they'd like to get in and get the ball rolling. So there's a lot of people waiting, uh, but they've already started all their homework. So yeah, I'm sure that my summer will be busy. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you for taking time out of your busy summer then to talk to us this morning. We'll get the link up to uh, all your social media and your website on our website, chch.com.